Nah, that looks like shit. Where do I want to go? What did I want to say? Okay. Just, just look. I don't even think it is. Damn! Boom! We got a missile. Boom! We've been preaching it. You guys have been asking us to get one. We finally did it. With all the parts we've been selling, if you guys have us on Instagram, we've been selling a bunch of parts. We were able to buy ourselves a missile. Tell them a little bit about it. What is it? I, we don't really know, honestly. It's an S13, obviously. That's the chassis. Um, but we don't know if it's a 180 or a 240 or a Sylvia. It's, it's right-hand drive. Yeah. Um, and it's if it was converted, it was done extremely well. I, I, I think that's what we think it is. We tried looking up the VIN numbers on like chassis. The chassis matches the firewall, and like they can do full front-end swaps, like firewall for or firewall included, and everything forward. But nothing really like the VIN just finds up some salvage car that had the roof smashed in, and the roof hasn't been replaced. So I don't know what happened. The roof's pretty uh. <laughs> Yeah, and it is right-hand drive. Yes, it has pop-up headlights. I hate them. But, but, but they're they're not really like in the right spots. It so. used to have, apparently it used to have um, like bricks and then they went to pop-ups. Why? Nobody knows. But it does have. It's got a SR20 DET. So sick. Um, it's pretty stock. Like it has a tow down downpipe, no exhaust, which is badass. It's just, I don't know if you guys can see right down in there where the exhaust just kind of ends. It's, I mean, it's perfect for a missile, guys. It, it's, it's a little rough. <laughs> it's a little rough. <laughs> I put my seat in it and then put a steering wheel in. So now it has the, these two parts are worth more than the car, which is sick. <laughs> but no, it's, it's, it's badass. Like the, the chassis, I don't want to call it clean, but it is clean. Like there's no, the corners haven't been like smashed in. It hasn't been a big crash anything like that. Um, from what we can tell, I mean, I guess the front end could have been smashed up and that's why they put a front clip, but they went through all the work to do a right-hand drive conversion. So the only reason we're not convinced, show them the handbrake thing. The only reason we're not completely convinced it really is a 180 or a Sylvia. There's two things. So we got our sweet handbrake mount here for the factory, um, for the factory manual handbrake. And then we have this beautifully welded on matching one <laughs> on this side. So that was welded just on top of everything to move it over to this side. And then this, this that one I could almost get over, but this is so weird. These two levers, or this one lever that does the gas door and everything else, is usually on that side on a right-hand drive, but it's here. What makes it even more weird is that the gas door is on that side. I think the gas door was on the right side. You guys probably know more than us, but I think the gas door is on the right side on all the cars, I think. So it's it's a mystery. It's probably swapped, but we're just gonna go ahead and call it an S13, because I am not committing to being a 240. We're still doing. It's an S13. <laughs> What's cool is like, I, I mean, I'm, we're gonna tell you guys the pricing on stuff. We're gonna do a little build series on this thing, because we've been preaching forever. Get yourselves a cheap car, do this, this, and that. We're actually gonna do it. So I got this car for three grand as it sits right here. Yes, I put my seat and wheel in it, but I already had those. I don't want to honestly spend more than four grand. I mean, we'll probably end up in it for five, but that's what we've been saying. You guys can do this. So we're gonna show you how to do it. We may do like a preliminary track day in it and just kind of see where it's at, but it's sketchy to even do like one track day in. <laughs> sketchy. The point is, you guys can find 240s. I found one. I got no special deal or anything like that. I just searched and searched and searched and searched and searched and I found one that wasn't $8,000. Because that's always the thing. Everyone's like, oh, 240s are so expensive. Well, um, and, and this thing had like a bunch of other parts on it and basically to get the price that was more comfortable for us, yeah. we said, hey, take your stuff. We're going to change it anyway. And that kind of, you know, you guys can do that too. Let's get this thing into the shop. We're going to get it up on the lift. We're going to have a look, tear this thing apart. Let's do it. You guys, how hard does Gaijin look? <laughs> show off your sweatshirt, pal. You got a little hoodie. You wanted to show it off to you guys, so you, you look sick, dude. You look cool. Oh, I feel like he needs one of these. God, we got to make those soon. That's my fuel pump. Fuel pump, got That's that. That's fan. Those are nice and secure. I'm just going to, okay. Those are nice and secure. We'll just set. And I start her up.
So here's the thing, you guys. Like, technically, you could go drift this car. They were drifting it. I would not recommend it. I'd want to do some things, and that's what we're gonna do, but three grand, running driving. I just unplugged my battery there. <laughs> but it's like, it's doable. It takes a little work. No. <laughs> no. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Easy on the spender, it's super nice. Look, I mean, you, you messed up the fit now. Like, come on, dude. I'm stoked. We gotta get this thing together soon here, JMO, so we can have two missiles. Yeah. Then we can freaking jam out. Boys can get some tandems in. We can start teaching you guys how to drift tandem. So um, let's get back to the build, but let's blow this channel up so we can finish this thing up and get the boys tandeming. So that's the car, you guys. Basically, what we're gonna do, we are gonna practice what we've been preaching. We're gonna show you guys how to build a car for super cheap, that's safe, hopefully looks kind of pretty, and as low budget as possible. Um, so we started out, we got the car for 3K, we're gonna have a running total. We're gonna tell you guys where we get parts from, what they cost us, why we're using them, and we're gonna go throughout this entire build process for you guys. We're gonna do one kind of preliminary uh, track day pretty soon here, and go kind of try stuff out, finalize the car, and then we'll go do a debut and have a sweet track day with it. And then this is gonna become you know, one of our main how to drift cars. So we're super stoked. I really hope you guys follow along for the build. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, check out our how to drift series and we will see you guys in a couple days. Peace.